This is Rodney. Rodney is a new graduate student at Baylor University. Rodney hopes to earn an advanced degree because Rodney wants to work in academia. But there's a lot about grad school that Rodney doesn't understand. And there is a lot about academia that Rodney needs to learn. Rodney needs help. One part of academic life that Rodney would like to know more about is the academic conference. Today, we look at academic conferences. What is a conference? So an academic conference is a forum where scholars come together to exchange ideas. It's an opportunity to workshop um, projects that you have in progress, an opportunity to network with other people in your field, get a sense of what the wider discussions are um, at the current moment. Why do we have them? So it's an opportunity for uh, researchers to get a sense of how other scholars are responding to their ideas. Uh, it's a way to, to get a sense of um, who else might be interested in the kinds of subjects that you're talking about. Um, also a way to build uh, networks of support around certain research trajectories um, that, that you have an interest in and that others do as well. Why should Rodney go? It, it allows you again, I guess, to sort of survey um, your field of study and then make some decisions about um, what it is that you're really interested in doing. Because I think that's expected. You don't necessarily know when you first come into a graduate program what exactly that you want to do. Let's ask a grad student. How do you get in? You normally write an abstract um, that's between 200 and 500 words normally. Um, that has to do with the conference theme or, or what um, the conference organizers are looking for. Um, and then you um, write the abstract and you submit it and um, somebody reviews it and you're either notified of your acceptance um, or rejection normally a few months later. Um, and then you write the paper. How does a panel work? So you're normally on a panel with two or three other people and you have normally 15 to 20 minutes to present your research um, and then there's questions um, normally at the end or sometimes right after you present your paper. What are the benefits? The people you meet at conferences are going to be your peers and your colleagues. They're going to be people who might peer review a journal article that you're submitting. They might be on hiring committees tenure committees, they are the kind of people that you want to get to know because you're going to spend the rest of your life with them. What did Rodney learn? Academic conferences are a chance to develop new ideas among peers. A good rule of thumb is to attend at least one conference each semester. Attend all sessions to connect with peers in your field. That's all for now.